Next up, confirmation biases is the spotlight bias. Uh, this one is similar to kind of the flip side of the halo effect uh, in a previous video where we tend to uh, judge as more believable or acceptable things that come from someone we, we like or find attractive, the halo effect. The spotlight effect is sort of the inverse. This is when you mistakenly assume that people are paying more attention to you than they actually are. Uh, that they're judging um, how you look or uh, how you act um, more than they actually do. It's very difficult for human beings who are self-aware, uh, that's what all these cognitive biases are, it's very difficult to accept the fact that nobody's paying attention to you, really. I mean, a few close people, but you're constantly in your brain about what's going on in your life and your situations, and you're the... You're the hero or the star of your own internal narrative, but there are 7 billion other individual narratives going on, and you don't factor very large in uh, nearly any of them. <clears throat> um, your spouse, your children, your immediate family, some of your close-knit, maybe that second level of um, extended family and community, uh, your tribe, uh, your group, uh, they will consider what you're doing or have a place for you in their narrative, but the vast majority of people don't. Although it feels like everybody's paying attention to everything we do all the time. Unfortunately, with the internet and uh, shit like TikTok and Instagram and that sort of thing, uh, we've we've seen the rise of the, the influencer uh, where they think that everybody um, values their opinion or they're being judged on uh, you know how they act or what they say or what they do. People are going to remember more how uh, they feel when they're around you, like if you're paying attention, being courteous, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you, you know, you, you mismatched your shoes and belt uh, that day or you, you had a little stain on your shirt, uh, you go through the rest of your day thinking that everyone notices that stain when it really might not uh, occur to them at all. I mean, it might. And then, if you know, if I got a mustard stain on my shirt, um... You know, instead of worrying about that, I just go about my day. If someone says something, I'm like, yeah, I dropped mustard on it. Um, and I didn't have a shirt to change into. So instead of worrying about that all day, if someone was to judge you because you didn't, you didn't consider that small mustard stain to be a huge factor in your day, uh, that, that's more of a judgment, um, reflective on them than you. But anyway, think about this one, spotlight bias. You, this is hard to swallow, but you're not as important as you think you are. None of us are uh, to others. So think about that one.